Let's go Make no excuses now I'm talking here and now I'm talking here and now Let's go Your time is running now I'm talking here and now I'm talking here and now It's not about what you've done It's about what you're doing And I'm Timon, and welcome to Who's Talking 10. What was your favourite part about Who's Talking so far, Lucia? Probably the jib jabs. Well, being a boy, I reckon the explosions were pretty cool when everything just went boom. Coming up next is the teacher interview with Jane Shalikins and Mrs. Hawes. Let's go over and see what's happening. <laughs> Thank you for being here today. Would you rather have a 20 pound seagull poop on your head or have a camel spit all over you? <laughs> oh, definitely a camel. Would you rather be a boy and have a girl's name or be a girl and have a boy's name? Would you rather only have four fingers or two toes? I would have two toes. No way, I would have four fingers. Four fingers. Would you rather drink a small glass of pus from a huge blister or eat a salad with bits of scabs in it? This pus drink is divine. No way, this scab salad is superb. Salad? Would you rather drink liquid from a full bag of garbage or chew on a hairball of cat fur from their bed?
garbage. Would you rather let someone sneeze directly into your mouth or have someone clean your ear with his tongue? Sneeze. Thank you, Miss Lazarus. That's all. Thank you. Came to dig, 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 dig. I'll build a city I'm so big, 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 big. I'm gonna pop some tags. Only got twenty dollars in my pocket. Hi, I'm Mrs. Amara, and today I'll be reading for you Ben and Duck, written by Sarah Acton. Ben went to the park to feed the ducks. Today, there was just one duck, one very large duck. Ben looked at the duck. Duck looked at Ben. Ben fed duck. Duck ate all the bread. Then Ben decided it was time to go home. Ben walked up the path. Duck walked up the path. Ben crept through the gate. Duck 
crept through the gate. Ben turned the corner, squeezed under the hedge and climbed a tree. Ben slid down the tree, leapt over the hedge and hopped on a bus. Duck didn't have a ticket. At home, Ben looked around. Some birds flew overhead. One of them looked a little familiar. Ben was just about to tuck into a big bowl of spaghetti when there was a tap at the door. Ben looked down at Duck. Duck looked up at Ben. So Ben invited Duck for tea and together they slurped spaghetti. For dessert, Ben had bread and butter pudding. Duck had bread and butter pudding too. Plus seconds and thirds. After dessert, Ben jumped into the bath. Ben liked splashing around and it was even more fun with Duck. When it was time for bed, Ben and Duck said goodbye. In the morning, Ben packed bread with jam, bread with cucumber and bread with honey into his bag. And of course, some leftover bread and butter pudding for his new friend, Duck. Well, I'm afraid that's about it for Who's Talking 10, folks. Coming up next to finish off Who's Talking 10, we have Paul Walker, our Maori teacher, with an original song. What do you think Who's Talking 11's gonna be like, Timon? Well, I don't really know, Lucia. What do you think, Rasslon? Ride my bike very well all by myself, don't you, pop, pop? And that I will call on you for help when I need to. But when I'm talking to my friend, she's called Angel, Papa. You don't push me, Papa, please, don't push me. When I'm going uphill, or crossing the road These are the times, pop You can push me You can push me Hey, Papa, push me Papa, pa, pa, please You don't push me Not when I'm talking to Angel, Papa To ride my bike around the block every night in Otahu And I like to see my friends Shivnul and Amrita But when I'm talking to my friend She's called Angel Papa, you don't push me Papa, please, don't push me Thank <laughs> you.